Prabhupada, his presence is a blessing of Krishna. Take that blessing fully. Prabhupada's presence, accepting him as a spiritual master, that itself is the biggest grace, biggest grace that we have received from Krishna, biggest mercy. Now, a sincere devotee, <coughs> he takes advantage of his presence in Vani. Prabhupada is present in his Vani, so he takes advantage of that presence and then he will perfect his life. He dictated into the dictaphones, which was coded into a language. So this is a recorded chant, Prabhupada books are recorded chanting. And when we hear, when we read, we are actually hearing that sound. So it is all same, transcendentally they are all same, but there is a special place for hearing the sound, original sound that came from Prabhupada's the lotus mouth. That's why Prabhupada insisted on recording his uh, voice. 2000, 2000 lectures are there, 2000 plus lectures. There's so much to listen. Whenever you find some time, go on hearing his sound. And at the same time, you read his books because what happens? Uh, Prabhupada gave lectures on many verses, but they may not be in continuous, continuous number. So we have to read his books. Reading books means systematic reading from first page to last page without jumping here and there. This is called reading. So we have to continue our systematic reading, but at the same time we should be eager to hear his voice. That is very, very powerful uh, for our consciousness. And that is Amrutena, Vachasa Amrutena. Uh, it is nectarian and it is uh, deathless. Whatever he spoke will remain eternally. <laughs>